Trudeau Foundation accepted a gift of $200,000 from an agent for Beijing's dictatorship and senior PMO officials were made aware of the gift and where it came from. The Prime Minister's Chief of Staff told committee that the Prime Minister is briefed on everything and nothing is withheld from him. On what date did the Prime Minister become aware that the Trudeau Foundation accepted a $200,000 gift from the communist dictatorship in Beijing? The Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, I've already made it clear in this House that the Prime Minister, over the last uh, 10 years, has not had any involvement with that foundation. And the member opposite is uh, asserting, and I really let's go with the heart of what he's asserting. He's asserting that this government uh, would, would welcome the interference of a foreign country. That is absolutely absurd. The fact that it would be clapped for is disgusting. There is every single member of this House dedicated to ensuring Canadian democracy. The member opposite, myself and every member, has firmed themselves to protect and defend Canadian democracy, and every member of this House will continue to do so. The Honourable Member for Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Island, and Rideau Lakes. Be clear, the Trudeau Foundation is government funded, and Liberal governments have in the past, and the Liberal government still has the ability to appoint members to the foundation. So it must be a coincidence that after Beijing's gift to the Trudeau Foundation, that the Prime Minister met with the front men who signed the check on behalf of the communist wow. dictatorship and gave them a meeting where they had direct access to influence the Prime Minister, this Prime Minister. So why are shady deals and influence opportunities for dictators the priority for this Liberal Prime Minister? Why? The Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, is the, uh, the priority of the party opposite is to attack uh, not-for-profits, independent organizations, the CBC, the media. I'm just waiting for everyone to calm down. Order. The Honourable Government House Leader, you have another 25 seconds. Mr. Speaker, on the floor of the House of Commons, members are protected by privilege. They have the opportunity to say anything that they wish. But when they are, when they are swinging their bats aimlessly in partisan advantage, uh, they are attacking not-for-profit uh, and, 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 or non-partisan foundations. They are attacking organizations like the CBC. They're attacking free and independent media. They seem to have no care whatsoever what or who they attack for their partisan Ends. Mr. Speaker, it is not becoming of this place.